What is up, you awesome kisters? It is Sist Reacts here, guys, and today we are here with yet another gaming review on the channel. So yeah, guys, today we're gonna be talking about Splatoon 2. Um, if you guys don't know, on the Nintendo Switch, um, Nintendo had this whole global test fire or beta or demo or whatever you want to call it for the new upcoming Splatoon 2. So yeah, if you don't know what Splatoon is, it's pretty much the Call of Duty um, of Nintendo, pretty much. It has you as like this squid kid who can change into a squid, use ink guns to fight off other uh, players who use the opposing ink color that you use. So yeah, as you can see with the gameplay here. Anyway guys, so yeah, I'm here to just talk about uh, my reviews and what I think about so far with the um what we were shown here in this whole beta test or demo or whatever you want to call it we'll, we'll just call it the test fire because you know it's called the freaking test fire so yeah as a um recent splatoon player who plays splatoon 1 i have to say i am hyped for this summer and to see that splatoon is actually coming back um and making a return and uh, there, there's some good and there's some bad, uh, more greats in my opinion with the new Splatoon because I, I love the new things that they added, but some new things were terrible, but anyway, we're just gonna go over them. So yeah, the weapons, the Splatoon Jr., the Splatoon Jr., I, or the Splat Shot, I, I forgot what it's called, but, um, it's a oldie weapon from Splatoon, it's like a, uh, ink SMG, and, uh, what it's sub-weapon with grenades, I love that, I love that, I love seeing its return, uh, you know, it's fast, the, the rate of fire is faster than the one it had in Splatoon 1, and I love to see that. I, I love I lo It's satisfying to see how fast it is uh, with fire. And it just makes me feel like an old Splatoon player and gives me that old feel uh, as I'm playing with the Splat Jr. I love, the, I love that weapon, but it was not my favorite. All right, the next weapon we have is, uh, by the way, you guys will see me just playing with one weapon for a long time, but if this review drags on to like 20 minutes or something like that, you'll see me uh, <laughs> leave the game and go out and switch new weapons. I'm um, sorry about that, by the way. But anyway, uh, next weapon is the Splat Ruler. Again, it's a new, it's, um, <laughs> it's a oldie weapon from Splatoon 1. Uh, it's like a paint roller, pretty much. And you can use that as a weapon. You can use that to like grab crap tons of ink and just swat it right at your enemies. Or you can use it to, you know, just roll around and try to grab people who are hiding in the ink as squids. I love that weapon, but it's not a favorite of mine. I kind of hate how slow it is. I kind of hate how fast you can run out of ink with it because, you know, you're doing a lot with the roller because uh, when it's time to attack, it's either time to throw down one of your sub weapons, which would be a grenade, or which does take a lot of ink to do, by the way. Yeah, in Splatoon, it takes a really, really long time to throw... I said really long time. It takes a really large amount of, um, a real large amount of ink, sorry. It's like 8 a.m. and I'm trying to talk fast. It takes a large amount of ink to, uh, amount of ink to <laughs> take out your grenades, and it's really annoying. And when it's time to attack, you know how I said you can take, like, lots of ink out with the splat roller? Uh, it just takes a lot of freaking ink trying to attack a player and actually getting the ink on the player as, as, if they don't run away. So, yeah, that's, um, that... Yeah, not really one of my favorites. The next one is the dual tees, and which you would actually be seeing me play with these right now on the screen. I love the dual tees. They are actually my favorite weapon. The dual tees are like, um, you can think of them as the splatter shot or the splat juniors, uh, just dual shot. And I, and I think this is in fact a new weapon. No, yeah, this is a new weapon. Um, yeah, Nintendo's gonna be adding this one into the, um, into the game, and I just love how fast they are with their rate of fire. I like how you can just, you know, sneak up on a player and get them really quick, or just go s straight up front to a player and just shoot them up real quick before they can get a chance to attack. And, um, while I do love the weapons, I don't really like the grenade, or the, what whatever it's called. I, I don't really know the official names of the grenades, uh, in this this test fire, but the dual tees have this gren have this grenade or mine that goes around and, and uh, creates an ink path for you, and then eventually it will blow up once it builds up a lot of ink in, or once time builds up more. I I kind of like a grenade where once you throw it, uh, three seconds and then boom, uh, like how the Splat Junior weapon set has, where it has that grenade where you can just throw it and then bam. Well, which this one just like zigzags and then just bam. I I, I don't I really don't like that very much in this weapon uh, it, it, it kind of sucks in my opinion i'm sorry nintendo 
Um, and the final weapon on the list, which is the charger weapon. Now you can think of the uh, the splat. I think it's called the splat charger or charger. I know. I know its name is charger. Um, you can think of the charger as the sniper sniper rifle weapon in Splatoon. I think this is a new weapon, but then again, I I did in fact see a weapon just like this in Splatoon One. Sorry, it's been a long time since I played Splatoon One. So if any of you uh, Splatoon veterans out there. Uh, know if it's, know if the charger is new or not, and I'm saying it's, uh, new, I'm sorry, don't get triggered. Yeah, I think the charger is a new weapon, uh, you know, it acts as a sniper, you can get into positions and shoot people, but then again, it takes a real, it takes a real um, long amount of time. Well, it actually doesn't, actually, sorry about that. I, I, I like how you can charge the weapon, you know, how you can just charge the ink and then, uh, choose your target. I don't really like how the weapon is though, because it's really hard. Because once you actually do find that good vantage point and actually see an enemy, uh, you really can't get them. You actually have to get at this awkward angle and kind of walk a bit off of the edge to try to grab them with the weapon. Because yeah, if you charge the weapon all the way, it really doesn't reach that far, and that's really annoying to me. So yeah, that's I. The charger is my least favorite weapon, and plus, if you if this review does reach long, you'll be able to see gameplay of me and the charger, in which I sucked. I died most of the time with that. But anyway, um, on to the next thing, uh, the characters. Uh, pretty much, I loved the speed. Uh, I love the I love the normal speed of the characters. I loved all of that. I like the character designs. I really like that there's no flaws in, in the character designs. I, I, it, it's pretty great. It, it just just like the old Splatoon. And, um, yeah, I, I just love that. Of course, it's going to be like the old Splatoon so they can keep all the characters. But anyway, um, yeah, I I like the gear in this, too. I wish they would have... I wish they would have allowed us to use gear in this, but really, they just set you up with um, automatic gear from the game. I mean, uh automatic gear that you can't really choose which kind of sucks I would really like to you know examine and study and uh, see which gear set would be great for me uh, but I guess not I, I guess they'll have it no they will have it in, in at launch because I know in Splatoon 1 you are allowed to change your gear and stuff but in this test fire I I don't know if in the first test fire they allowed you to mess with gear and stuff but I know in this test fire <laughs> they only had automated gear for you with each character you play as, it's just random, so yeah, that pretty, that just kind of sucks. Now, for the squid, though, I do have a, I do have a, a large amount of say about the squid. Now, if you don't know, what Splatoon is mostly famous for is these squid kids. So yeah, uh, in Splatoon, you can, like, use the squid to your advantage and hide in your own ink, but if you hide, if you try to hide in enemy ink, it'll just damage you and kill you. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I like, I like how they, um, had I like how they changed where like if you're an enemy uh, squid and you're hiding in the ink and moving around and stuff you can actually see like uh, the the ink like move around more so it's kind of obvious where you are to enemies I like that but then when that tactic is used against you it's pretty annoying <laughs> obviously so yeah and I feel like in this one they've really slowed down the squid's movements and I find that so unbearably annoying like um I felt like as a squid when you're not like moving around in ink you were kind of fast but not that fast but in this one I feel like they've just slowed everything down for the squid it it just feels weird but um yeah, being an ink is pretty useful most of the time because, you know, it helps you refill your ink and it helps you hide from enemies. But, yeah, it just feels like the time hiding in the ink is slower than Splatoon 1 because I, I just feel like in Splatoon 1, once, you hi once you're, like, ready to uh, hit that extra trigger, bam, you can just uh, get down there in the ink fast. But in this one, it just takes, like, a couple of extra seconds for your character to be like, oh, crap, here he, here he comes. I need to change it to a squid right now. But, you know, it's not instant. It takes your character buttloads amount of time to actually, you know, get into squid form, and that's pretty annoying. So yeah. Anyway, uh, next thing, 
Um, I f it's about the uh, the Joy Cons and the Pro Controller. So yeah, I feel playing with the Pro Controller had a much more comfortable experience than the Joy Cons did. It felt like playing. And I'm talking about you know playing with the the Joy Cons connected to the tablet. I don't I don't really think you can play with the Joy Cons alone just yet on Splatoon. I didn't try. But I was playing with the Joy-Cons on the tablet, and, and I tried out the Pro Controller, too. Uh, I felt like, again, yeah, the Pro Controller was much more comfortable doing Joy-Cons, because it felt, like, it felt very uncomfortable to, like, extend your finger out just a bit to hit that trigger and, um, maneuver around real quick. It just felt very uncomfortable. Whereas, with the, um, Pro Controller, it's giving you a more comfortable experience, and the buttons are just kind of really close together, and I like that. And, you know, you can just play, like, you could just play, uh, Splatoon like it's Call of Duty or something, and I, I, and I like that overall experience, so, um, yeah. Nothing I can really do about the Joy-Cons being uncomfortable, but thank God I bought that Pro Controller because, eek, it's, I, I don't know, let me know, if you, if you have the test fire, uh, if you had the, if you had a chance to play the test fire on the Switch and you played with the Joy-Cons, let me know how that felt to you because it felt very uncomfortable to me. I don't know because I played most of the Switch games with the Pro Controller, so I don't know if that was just the issue, that I wasn't, like, really used to the Joy-Cons yet, but, um, yeah, just Pro Controller felt much better, so. Alright. Anyway, uh, the maps. Um, I forget what the map names were called, but the first one, uh, let's see, the first one, it, it felt like... The first map, uh, I, dang it, I really forgot what it was called. <laughs> uh, I think it was called Muscle Fortress, uh, where it, where it looked like an overall gym. I liked that area, but it had so many, like, grates around where you're in, where you're, uh, where you could fall through if you weren't careful. It had so many that it was just ridiculous to me. <laughs> so yeah, if you don't know, in Splatoon, uh, grates are a squid's worst enemy because, you know, inks, I mean, squid can only hide in ink, and they can't really, like, hide in grates or walls and stuff unless there's, like, ink on it, but grates, that's a no-no, even if you try to ink a grate, it'll just fall straight through it, and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I think it were vents, not grates, I, I don't know, it was either vents or grates, but yeah, there was so many around that area, and the other map, it rem- I, I can't remember these names for the life of me. I'm so sorry. That and the other map, it just felt like an overall comfortable experience because you can just get more, uh, like, intimate with it and just like you know hide around and ink and kill enemies and stuff. I, I really like the, uh, I really like the first map. I think you guys can see it right now, but I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's very, very, I'm very sorry. During the editing, I will, uh, you know, clarify this, obviously, what, what map I'm talking about. So, yeah, anyway, I'm, again, I'm sorry. Alright, next one is the Super Jump and the, um, and the new feature where you can access the map with the buttons. Now, with the Super Jump, I hate this feature, I won't even lie, it's a new feature. Uh, in Splatoon 1, you weren't able to super jump at will, uh, when you, I, I believe when you died, and you go back to spawn, I think they would super jump you randomly into, into battle, but this time around, you can actually super jump to your friends in Splatoon 2, uh, correct me if I'm wrong about the super jump feature in, in Splatoon 1, by the way, in the comments, but, um, yeah, I, I like the way, um, I mean, I hate the way the super jumps were made in this one because, like, it's just a feature that you wouldn't use so much because you're, you're just, like, trying to keep your head down and not get splat in the face with a person who's weirdly good at, with, weirdly good with a charger, and I just, or you're just, like, running around killing people because you're good and stuff. I just feel like the super jump feature is something mostly no one's, mostly no one would use <clears throat> because pretty much... Like as I say, you can super jump anywhere, right? But then again, you would have to press up on the on your D-pad and um, quickly choose a place to jump, and then you would have to confirm it. <laughs> in which that's annoying. And another thing is, enemies can super jump to your location, and um, the annoying thing is the game 
will tell your, uh, will tell the opposing team where you're gonna super jump, and someone can easily just troll, like I did to a couple people, and stand there and shoot that spot until you land and just kill you. Which is very, very hilarious when you're when you're killing someone who jumps down, but it's very annoying when it happens to you. You know, shooters and logic. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I that's pretty much all I have to say about these super jumps. Next is the online service that we had in this and the lobbying in general. Um, opposed to Splatoon 1, I have to say that the online service was perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. Perfect. In this one. Because once I... Uh, if you didn't see it on my Nintendo channel, Ninsist, uh, I, I just, like... I recorded a gameplay for that. Go check it out. Uh, link in the description. And... That was my first time I even touched the test fire, the test fire's uh, game app, and opened it for uh, the test fire gameplay. I jumped in, did the training and all that stuff. I was hyped and stuff. And once the game told me like, uh, "You're gonna get ready to jump into a lobby," um, and I was just sitting there waiting. It wasn't even that long. It took like five seconds for everyone just to like, get right in and just um, go ahead and play. I love that, but I f I think I remember in the Splatoon 1's test fire, it took so freaking long for um for people to get inside of a game. So yeah, I I, I do love the online lobbying. It just it's, it it was just fast in this one, just fast. Nintendo has some type of improvement with their online servers. I loved it, but sometimes I hear about my friends. Um, now this this is from a friend's experience. I I've heard about them actually like having having uh, to be lagged out in the middle of a match and then sent back to the home screen which that's pretty freaking annoying I've heard so yeah of course it's a beta and you know not everything's gonna be perfect and I guess uh, this whole thing was a stress test for Nintendo um you know I, I know things are not gonna be good it's a beta obviously so yeah I, I understand all that it's I understand and not everything's gonna be perfect, but still, that's that's annoying, you know. Just just to be in the middle of a game that you're so hyped for, and it's a beta, and then you're gonna shoot someone. And then next thing you know, oh, the other console could not reach your server, or, or whatever that warning, whatever that uh, error message is when you get lagged out in Splatoon. So yeah, that that sucks. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna be going over the ultimates now. <clears throat> the ultimates, if you don't know, pretty much. You know, once you uh, shoot around with ink a lot, your uh, ultimate bar starts to go up slowly and in, uh, improve. And you know, you can tap on the right control stick and start your um thing. So yeah, the Splat Junior's um little uh, ultimate, I liked it because uh you know you can, I think you can uh, shoot enemies with ink missiles. I like that, but the thing is, like. I wish they would have gave you like some type of like force field that lasts a second because <laughs> once you actually put out your um your missiles your your you know missile launcher so you can target enemies, I kind of hated like how how slow they come out and how slow you can how slow you move once you put them out because once you get the Spy Junior's ultimate out where you can you know shoot with missiles, it's you got you gotta find you gotta pick pick your targets fast. You gotta move the camera around really fast and just press the trigger and hope you caught somebody because man, I could not focus for a second because I always felt like someone was just gonna come behind me and shoot me like that. So yeah, uh not really that much of a fan of the Splat Juniors, um or the Splatter Shots Ultimate. Now the rollers eh, uh, eh to the rollers ultimate. It's uh you know, once you get a lot of ink with the roller, you can I already explained how you can access your ultimate. I'm not going to say that again. Pretty much, your character will jump up in the air, smash their fist down, and uh, with the roller stick, with the with the roller's ultimate, a lot of ink will just like go everywhere once your fist comes down and kill any enemies that is hiding in the ink or just nearby you. And I. I, I, okay, thinking about it, it was pretty satisfying just to go up in midair with the roller and just psh, smash down and just kill a lot of enemies. I like that, but at the same time, like, you, you stay in the air for, like, an extra five seconds for someone to just get a window in and shoot you, and that's just pretty annoying. Even though every time I used the Splat Rollers um, Ultimate, I didn't die, but still, uh, 
during your ultimate, you are not invincible. Yeah, people can actually shoot you and kill you, as I've stated in the Splat Jr.'s um, ultimate. So, yeah, that, pretty, that sucks. Now, the dual tease ultimate. I liked how... I, I kind of liked, I kind of liked it. Uh, you pretty much go on some, you pretty much do some Super Mario Sunshine crap, and you get, like, this jetpack, and you get, like, this, uh, bazooka thing. So, yeah, with the Dual T's Ultimate, you can hover in the air and, uh, get a good angle, or get a good aim at your enemies and just shoot them with large balls of ink from your ink bazooka. I, I like that and stuff. But that ultimate goes away so fast. It goes away faster than the other ones. And, like, you, you can get some good looks in. And by looks, I mean shots. You can get some good looks in with your enemies. And, um, it's great and all. But then, like, you have to, like, furiously tap A to keep your uh, jetpack up so no one can get a good shot at you. And that's why it lasts long. Because I think if you tap A, more ink goes away from the ultimate. And then that's why uh, the duration is so. That's why the duration is so short with that ultimate, because you gotta try to keep your ink in place and, and fire at will at the same time, which just sucks. But uh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, the last one is the Charger's ultimate. Now, the Charger has this thing. It's called the. I think it's either called the Killer Whale or the Stingray. No, no. It's called the Stingray. Now, the Stingray is like uh, this. Uh, this blast, this blast of ink, you just get this ink blaster and just blast ink everywhere randomly. And yes, this little ink blaster clips through items. Uh, it, it clips through boxes, metal boxes, cars, walls, anything. And Nintendo, I really hope you fix that because, yeah, someone from all the way across the map had their Charger Ultimate on, the Stingray, yeah? And it just clipped through every single wall, every single box, every single tree in the area. It sucked, you know. Just walking around, you know, trying to kill some people. Next thing you know, all you just see is a large stingray, and it just kills you. So, yeah. Uh, I, I really didn't like how, like, the enemy could just shoot and just clip through everything. And plus, the stingray kind of lasts for a long time, and that's what I don't like. Now, the thing is, what... I, 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 I despise the Chargers Ultimate, by the way. Um, the thing is, I what I hate about the Chargers Ultimate with the Stingray, you can't aim. I think your character just does like a full 360 with the uh, with the Stingray and moves com and moves very, very okay, mo moderately slow. And the thing is, someone could easily just come behind you, she, which I just found completely stupid. So yeah, that's it for Ultimates. Wow, this review is very long. Um, now the games and how they last. I do like uh, the the game modes that they have. Turf War, which pretty much is like a death match between team death match between you know one team and the other. I, I like that. Uh, I, I really did. But I wish every day with the uh, global test fires, the three days that we had here, I wish that you know Nintendo would have actually had some type of new mode every every uh, day they had it on. So I wish they would have like. I, I wish they would have had three different game modes we could have done, but uh, I guess they're just saving the good ones for release this summer, and I really hope it's going to be, and I really hope these other ones are going to be great. So yeah, uh, we, we talked about the game modes here. Now, about how long they last, I think every game lasts one minute, or two minutes, or three minutes? I completely forgot how uh, long the games last, so yeah, um... I just know that the game duration is very short for, like, the hour we have to play this. Because most most of your time playing the Global Test Fire could be uh, waiting for that last person to get into the lobby. And it's not really, um... It, and it's not, like, more of the time you're playing the game, and I find that stupid. So, yeah, I just... I'm looking through here, and, yes, the, every uh, match is actually three minutes and yeah I, I find that pretty stupid because most because most of the time you're just waiting for um wait waiting for the next match to start in lobby and that's just suckish because yeah uh, I, I like the, I, I like the one game mode they had turf four but I hate how long it lasted so 
eek. Um, now, uh, your way of choosing weapons in this beta, which is just stupid. I'm sorry, it's stupid. I mean, come on. You have to leave, and I, and I think uh, I'm at this point, like 25 minutes, where you can actually see me actually leave the game and go back into it. Yeah, the way to choose weapons is you have to leave the freaking game and go back into the freaking uh, global test fire. You know, hit the two, hit the triggers, wait for the game to connect, which takes a long time at that, which is burning away time at you playing the test fire for the whole hour. And then you, and then it'll take you to a menu where you can choose your weapons from there. I don't like that. I wish like after every game, or I wish they would have added some type of pause menu like Call of Duty has, where you can just like. Um, choose your weapons from a pause menu and then die and then uh, have the new weapon. I wish they would have done something like that where you could change your loadout. Either in, I, I, I wish they would have had it where you could change your weapons in the in the lobby or they have some type of pause menu where you could choose the weapons that you want and every time you died you would come back with the new weapon. I hated how you literally had to leave the game and then come back into it. So yeah, that sucked. But they're lucky that they that they had fast servers and that people didn't have a lot of, uh, you know, time wasted choosing weapons and sitting in lobbies that you, you got lucky on that Nintendo. You got lucky. Good boy. Anyway, um, so yeah, the, uh, we have to talk about the controls. The controls, guys. Controls. It's, okay, I, I like the controls overall. I like, I like how you have to press one trigger and hold it to be a squid. Uh, for as long as you want. I like that. I like that. It has the old style controls. I hate and I know uh, Xbox players and I know Xbox players have most likely Xbox owners most likely have the switch. Don't you Xbox owners and you'll know my pain hate it how the pro controller has A where B should be? Like come on y'all can't tell me I don't like that. And the A button which I think does nothing at all Actually, yeah, yeah, uh, the A button, yeah, yeah, the A button is actually the jump button now, whereas in Splatoon 1, the, the jump button was X, so I hate how they just changed the A, how they changed the jump button to the A button, which confused me a lot of times. I think they said in the tutorial, where, uh, you know, where, you know, when you first start the Global Test where they'll put you through a tutorial, obviously, um, I liked... I like the tutorial and all, but I think they don't tell you how to jump in it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I think they just tell you how to turn into a squid and how to shoot. No, 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 actually, no, 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 I'm sorry. In, in the tutorial, yes, they do have like a picture of the controller and the layout of the controller and the controls. And yeah, they, they, they do show you all the controls. I'm sorry about that. But I just hate how they switch the, uh, the jump button to from X to A and I hate how, um, sometimes, you know, when you want to super jump to your friend, and, and I just hate how you have to hold the D-pad, and, and you're trying to protect yourself at the same time from anyone who tries to shoot you when you're trying to access the, the, the menu, and I hate how you have to, how you have to press the, press the button once to get into the, you know, the super jump map, or just the map of the whole area. I hate how you get, I hate how you have to access it like that. But the thing is, if someone is shooting you, and yes, this is coming from experience, if someone is shooting you while you have the map while you have the map open, you have to press the freaking button again. Yes, the up pad on the D-pad. I mean the up button on the D-pad. Yes, you, you have to press it again to get it off of your screen, and then you have to turn around, turn the camera around, and shoot your freaking enemy. Which yeah, that, that sucks. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the button thing. Now, the new feature that they added in Splatoon, which is one of the iconic ones, is the dodge roll. I love that move. I love it. But the thing is, as an old Splatoon player, um, I neglected the dodge roll so much. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much if you stay stationary and shoot and double tap A and flick, to con and flick your uh, left control stick, left or right or back or up, uh, you would do a dodge roll in any type of direction that you choose, and I love that, I love it, but really, as an old Splatoon player, I used pretty much the old controls, I wasn't really, um, really intimate with the new things that you can do, I, I, I was more, as you can see in this gameplay right here, I was just more 
ready to kill people. And by the way, uh, I don't know what time I switched to the charger. If you're seeing my charger gameplay and seeing me look so sloppy right now, I am so freaking sorry. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Splatoon Global Test Fire. Um, overall, I give this beta a, a 90%. No, I'm sorry, a 70%. I, I loved everything. Um... I love how Splatoon is looking so far, but just, I, you know, I, I remember I have this at the back of my mind too. It is a beta, and yes, we're not shown everything yet. They could probably improve and change and stuff, but yeah, as I've as I've stated here, well, the wrongs and bad, I mean the wrongs and the good of the global test fire, and you know, Nintendo has a lot to work on and stuff. So yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it for this gaming review. Um, let me know if you guys like reviews like these, and if you haven't checked out my Nintendo Switch review. Please check it out. It's pretty dank. But anyway, um, tell me if you guys like long reviews like these, or do you guys just like reviews like that, that get quick to the point with my um, with my opinions and stuff? Because I, 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 I will like to call this quick and to the point, but I, I went more in depth than I did with my Nintendo Switch uh, review. And I actually did go about the, the wrongs and bad. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, if you guys like reviews, make sure you guys hit the like button, comment below, subscribe for more coming kids today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. When you forget to hit, like, your hotkey for the audio. That sucks.